On this episode of Taste This, we're doing rolled up swordfish. You gotta taste this. Hi, I'm Leo Damien and welcome to Taste This. I've spent much of my life in the kitchen with my large Italian family in Italy and New York. I've worked every position in the restaurant business. I want to show you the heirloom techniques and dishes I've learned from the eight matron cooks in my family. You gotta taste this. Rolled up swordfish. And that's a swordfish on little skewers and it's rolled up and it's all got all kinds of wonderful stuff in there. We've got you know, uh, some celery, some shallots, some pine nuts and raisins and uh, we've got some chopped up uh, swordfish that's going to go inside and a, a sauce of marjoram and lemon, garlic and olive oil. Wow. Okay, let's get started. What we're going to do first is we've always got to toast our pine nuts. I'm going to take some of these pine nuts and I'm just going to toast them up a little bit. Now remember, we always talk about making sure that we don't over toast our pine nuts because they toast really quickly and they go from brown to like, uh -uh, in like 10 seconds. So you gotta just watch them really carefully that you catch them just in time without letting them go too far. Okay, they're getting close. See, they're starting to brown there, done. Take them off. As soon as you start seeing brown a little bit, Take them right off the heat and get them out of the pan and put them into uh, just a cool bowl and let them rest. There you go. Now let's get that heat back down again. All right. Now we can get going with our celery and our shallots. So I'm going to use some duck fat. Instead of olive oil, I'm going to use duck fat in here to get this going. Ooh, look at that go. And some celery. And let's season up that celery just a little bit. Get that going there. Now, we don't want to brown this, but we want to cook it. We don't need to brown it. We just got to make it look pretty. We got to get that translucent, wonderful look to it. And that's all we need there. See that, that uh, celery is looking nice and translucent there? We gotta go in, so now we're gonna add our shallots. Get those shallots in there. And this is when you can start. Add a little bit more seasoning salt in there. Now you can start to bring that aroma into the room with those shallots going in there. Crush some black pepper in. All right, okay. Now we're, we have some swordfish. I took uh, two good pieces of uh, wild swordfish and I sliced it into thin slices, nice and thin slices. But then there's parts of the swordfish that I trimmed off and there looks like there's maybe two or three tablespoons of trimmings and I cubed the little trimmings. And I'm gonna put those little trimmings in there because we're gonna roll the trimmings up with the uh, pine nuts and the celery and the, and the shallots. We're gonna roll all that up in the inside when we roll up the swordfish. There we go. Now, let's get some raisins in there. And some breadcrumbs. We wanna make this a little dry. Let's add a little more salt. We don't want this to be a wet stuffing. We want it to be a dry stuffing. Okay. Now we can take this off the heat and set it aside. All right. Okay, so we got ourselves our stuffing ready. We sliced up our fish. Now we're going to do the roll-ups. Now, let's get the pine nuts sprinkled on top of here. And let's mix this in a little bit. I like a lot of pine nuts. I love the pine nut flavor. Now, with the pine nuts and the, uh, and the raisins together, it just makes a fabulous taste. Let's go ahead and build them up. Now, let's go ahead and put a little of the uh, duck fat back in here again. 
because after we roll them up, we are going to fry them in the duck fat. All right, so what we'll do is this. We're gonna get a piece of the, of the swordfish and we're going to just roll up like so. One. That's two. three. Okay. Now we can just sprinkle a little bit on top of here like that. Make it nice and messy. All right, that's one. We're gonna, again, we're gonna pack a little bit on top. Make it nice and messy. Then, we're going to put a little breadcrumbs on this. Okay. And we're gonna get a little breadcrumbs on the bottom here too, like that. Okay, so we have some breadcrumbs in the top, some breadcrumbs in the bottom. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the duck fat and drizzle it on top. We'll take these we got our hot pan with some duck fat. And we're gonna put this gently in the pan. Make sure there's enough duck fat around there. And let that cook up. Oh man. And then we're gonna put a sauce together on top. Now the sauce we're doing is a lemon, fresh squeezed lemons, olive oil, garlic, and marjoram. We're just gonna boil that up a little bit. We're gonna put this, after it's done frying a little bit, we're gonna put it in the broiler a little bit, broil off the top, take it off the, the pan, put it on a plate and drizzle some of that lemon, olive oil, garlic, marjoram, slaughter it all over the place and just, wow. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Okay, this is looking pretty good. This is getting, this is going here. We got this, let this cook for a few minutes and then off into the, uh, into the broiler and we'll cook the top, hit the top. All right, let's put this in the broiler. All right, now we're gonna work on the sauce. All right, first we're gonna get some olive oil. I put maybe a uh, quarter cup of olive oil or so. And our garlic. We got the quarter, we got the garlic. I got a couple of cloves of garlic in the olive oil. 
and we just let that cook up a little bit. All right, we don't need to, we don't need to brown this garlic. All we need to do is bring out some of the flavor. So as soon as that oil starts boiling a little bit, I take it off the heat. And we got ourselves two or three, I think I got three lemons. And I put the three lemons in there and put it back on the heat. And then we got some marjoram. And we're gonna take these and strip these off like that. A couple of sprigs of marjoram on there like that. And get that going again. Bring that up to heat. There we go. Just lower the heat back down again. All right. Now, we got to plate this up. Like that. Like that. And then, get ourselves some of this wonderful lemon oil. We're just going to pour it around. And then you know what you can do just for the heck of it? Throw a sprig on there. Throw a sprig on there. Okay. And we are ready to taste this. Now, Okay, I'm gonna taste it first. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, so first I'll just like peel one off. Like that. All right. And I'm just gonna take a piece of it like this. Try, I got some of that sauce on there already. It's so lemony. So lemony. Mmm. 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 The raisins. Mmm. 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 Mmm.